This is a really good one. Passion fruit tart. Now this brings back some memories for me because we had a passion fruit vine growing up as a kid. Now blind baking. Doesn't mean you close your eyes while you're baking. It means you have a piece of baking paper or parchment paper filled with weights. It could be dried rice or pulses. These are a ceramic weight. It, they go inside the tart like that. Now that goes into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 160, 170 degrees Celsius till it starts to go golden, okay? And then what you do is then remove your pie weights after that time and allow the pastry to go golden. All right, so now we're gonna make some passion fruit curds. This is really delicious. We managed to get fresh passion fruits, which is really good. So into a pot over moderate heat and a thick based pan if you can as well just to make sure it cooks evenly. Two whole eggs go in as well. So nine yolks, two whole eggs, we're adding sugar, some fresh passion fruit. And now it's just a matter of cooking this out till it thickens, it'll change in color slightly. And once it reaches the point where it's obviously very thick, then you drop in your rich creamy Devondale butter. and just whisk it through till it's all melted. Remove all the seeds and just add a few back in. Fold that through. Then that goes into our blind bake tart shell. Now that goes into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, just till it sets up. Just a little bit more than what it is now. You still wanna see that jiggle. So once it comes out of the oven, give it a good 15, 20 minutes before you remove it from its tin. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. Let's put a little bit of fresh passion fruit over the top and then finish it off with a little bit of fresh whipped Devondale cream. Hey guys, Chef Jason Roberts here. I need you to donate now to Oz Harvest. One dollar will connect one person to two meals, okay? Here for hope.